M my name is Andrea Mina, Associate Professor in Interior Design School of Architecture and Design at RMIT University, and it's my great pleasure to introduce the recently appointed Professor of Design in the School of Architecture and Design, Professor Cal Grant. Cal, welcome, and it's really nice to have you here. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah. It's my honor to be here. Yeah. Cal, uh, we're just going to have a little chat about the, the things that interest you in life and the things that you find important about this, to us, very important world of design. So, so what I'd like to do is, is just get your take on the idea of design. Well, I think uh, the term design has been much confused, in my opinion. Design is to produce something which hasn't existed before. Um, it has very stringent requirements upon, upon its, um, its image and its function. Uh, I think it varies from piece to piece too much to, to say much more about it without examining a piece. The, which is a, a, a lovely way of introducing this exquisite piece that we have sitting in front of us, Kel. Do you want to tell us something about that? Yes, um, I, I began uh, because I met um, uh, a, a, a woman who was, um, I think, the CEO of uh, DuPont in, in Switzerland, and it was at a, um, it was at a Saloni Satellite exhibition in Milan about uh, five, maybe six years ago. And we were talking about Corrie and the material, uh, which of course is a, an important DuPont product. And she said to me, if you ever think of designing things or your students designing things in Corian, other than laboratory benches and, and kitchen benches, would you please get in touch with me? So I introduced Corian in my in my lectures in, in in the furniture studio following this and I would have a visit from Korean experts and then I thought about designing pieces in Korean myself and uh, using it in a way that hadn't been used before, hadn't been done before. I, I felt that most of the work exhibited and they have a Korean have quite an exciting magazine but they're mostly installations of uh, reception areas, uh, laboratories, chemical proof uh, situations and kitchens, or very contrived looking chairs, or other furniture products, which to me uh, didn't deal with the material in a, in a suitable way. So I began to design things in Korean, and it seems to happen to me that when I, when I start with something, I sort of keep going on for, for a year or years. If I'm designing tables, I can't stop designing tables, the same with clocks and so on. So I got this idea of, of doing tables. And I've, I've, at the moment, I've designed six tables, of which the first one is, is, is the Z table. Uh, I'm doing a lower and longer coffee table Z and five other quite different images, four other quite different images. Uh, I can also see the possibility of doing it in a great number of small pieces. Uh, and uh, I'll probably find that I'm going to carry on in this way through planters, mirror frames, maybe photographic frames and so on. So I do have obsessions about a direction in design. It's an intriguing material, Kel, because uh, it has the ability to negate the, 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 the aesthetic of a laminate. And, 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 and because it gives this idea of um, the, the solidity of the material. In yeah, yeah. And yet, in essence, what has happened here is a type of laminate, isn't it? Yes, There's it a is. substructure and it's laminated over. Yes. D does that tell us something about um, the, the, the contemporary condition that we live in? W w where it, 
it's almost more about um, appearances and the surface rather than underlying structures. Yes, that, that is the case. One of the one of the, the weaknesses of um, of Korean is 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 its um, tensile stiffness or strength. It, it needs to be if if you're using a long length of it, it needs to be supported by something. Um, I, I liked this way because it it became a monolith of Korean, whether it's slabs of Korean right through as it looks like this one is, uh, and for for economic reasons, of course, we we used a, a laminate approach. Um, I think many times we we design something and the material to make it in is not there, or something comes along which is more suitable, and we take it out of the drawer and apply the new material to it. To some extent, this is what's happened with me with, uh, with Corian. I, I notice a, um, and, and, and I know it's, it's, it's probably stretching things, but, but there's a relationship between the way that you've dealt with black and white stripes here and Geoponte's work. It, it, how, how do um, the giants of design influence your work? I, I never thought of Geoponte in relation to this, but the giants, I think the giants who have influenced me have been two, two of my teachers, or perhaps three of my teachers. Henry Moore was my teacher in sculpture, um, and along with Barbara Hepworth. And then in architecture I had, head of department was Miss Van der Rohe. Uh, and although I've never sort of th uh, begun a design with their their presence in mind. I've looked at the design afterwards and I thought, um, when I did the Montreal chair, I thought, oh, Mies would like this. Um, when I did this piece, I thought about uh, Chicago Institute and Mies and Bra Brower and so on. I, th I think there are influences which we, we don't know that we have. Mm. Uh, it's as if they're back in the subconscious and uh, Somehow, you can see it very evident in the Spanish designers who refer back to elements of uh, warfare and the conquistadors and bullfights and the color red and horn shapes and so on. So I, I think it's all a sub, uh, it's all a subconscious factor. But uh, um, I think the black and white. Um, it's, it's hard to explain how I arrived at black and white. Um, I think I felt that uh, it was easy for us to, reduce, to introduce a range of colors afterwards. And I liked the strength of the black and white. And I liked the white Z. It's a, it's a Z which is Futura, Futura Bold, which I chose because I wanted specific uh, angle cutoffs.